You know, when it comes to hanging big, heavy objects like this, I'm always looking for an easy way to make sure that it's level, centered, and secure. That means it doesn't fall off the wall. And you know what? I think I found something. The core components of this system from Hangman Products are two strips of extruded aluminum. The first attaches to the back of the picture frame. Now notice the angle shape. To avoid the possibility of splitting, I first drill pilot holes, then install small pan head screws. The second strip mounts to the wall with the angle facing upward. These screws, exclusive to this system, have needle-like points that I can easily push into the surface with my fingers. The deep, coarse threads quickly pull the screw into the wall with just a few turns from a screwdriver. Each hanger comes with its own bubble level that snaps or slides into a groove in the strip. I move the unattached end of the hanger up or down until the bubble level is centered. Then I install a second screw. These first two hold the strip in position while I put in the remaining fasteners. Then the level simply slides out. The angled strip on the back of the picture engages the strip on the wall, guaranteeing the artwork will hang securely and level. Canvas art stretched over a frame merits its own version of this hanging system. The picture strip has a step offsetting it to the inside. I mount the wall strip as before, and when the hangers are engaged, they pull the artwork snugly up against the wall. Now a really nice feature of all these systems is that I can slide the artwork left or right until it's exactly where I want it. Now this is a very special piece right here. It's from my six-year-old daughter's first art show. And it's in a metal frame, but this same system can still be used. In this case, a single wall strip simply engages the inside of the metal frame. Now even when I'm hanging something as large as this, this system makes it a one-person job. And those are strong too. This one is rated for up to 400 pounds. 